Well, praise the Lord, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started with our fourth anniversary of Glory Sunrays Women Empowerment Ministries. Can we give God praise for our fourth year of celebration? And we're just grateful to God for each of you and those who are on our live stream to celebrate with us. And we thank you uh, for your patience. And I'm excited this year. I am not the master of ceremony, uh, but we have upgraded our budget uh, and we have pulled in somebody who is far more experienced than I am at this and far more better at this. And so I want you to welcome and receive our mistress of ceremony uh, for today's celebration, the one, the only Dr. Evangelist Latanya Hayes. Yay! Scripture reading. 
And this is by, oh, my, my love, okay. This is another one called the assistant pastor of the Apostolic Church. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to come and uh, give us a scripture. Okay. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Hayes. Uh, our scripture reading comes from Proverbs 31, verses 29 through 31. And it says, many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates. And this is the word of the Lord. Glory to God. All right. Now, we want to make sure everybody is feeling welcome and at home Amen. and apart. So we're going to have a welcome by our very own Sister Doris Williams. Let's put our hands together as she comes to make us feel. What? Oh, she's coming. Her ability to pray and cover her family without season. 
She knows that God's favor on her family's life is forever increasing. So no matter the errands, the homework, or how she feels, she covers them daily like they are personal armor shields. A woman's virtual is her ability to sacrifice herself and her time for her family. Her ultimate goal in life is to see them succeed. And when that happens, her spirit is at ease. She puts her goals and dreams on hold to make sure the family stands together boldly. She can take blow after blow, yet have beautiful skin with a natural godly glow, like she's been through nothing. But she'll be quick to tell anybody that her God is truly something. She doesn't look like she's been in a fiery trial, because God truly keeps her by his side. She knows that her pain is never wasted and it was never caused in vain. She knows that one day a lost soul of a woman will come along for her to tame. See, the kind of woman I'm talking about is beautiful, strong, and a weapon of mass destruction. She knows the real meaning of spiritual warfare. And it is not just a song. She'll tell that devil to get under her feet and will not ever accept any kind of defeat. Because in due season, she knows that she will reap. See, that woman of virtue is you. Can you stand to be empowered to know your self-worth? You're worth way more than you were ever told. You're worth more than silver and gold. See, God made you blessed and highly favored. You're above and never beneath. You're the head and not the tail. You're a lender and not the borrower. <laughs> so you should stand for nothing less than what he already promised. Now, I just stopped by to refresh your memory and to remind you that we are all Proverbs 31 women. Thank you for reminding us of what we have inside of us and how we can continue to move forward as women. Ah, I feel all right. I feel all right. And nothing's going to bring me down because I feel all right. Come on, let's go. Come on, man. So I'm just excited about uh, what we're doing today. And I was just thinking as um, Doris was sharing a little bit of background on our honoree and also our founder. And then also, there's so much stuff going on today in this right, room. Right. But um, I just thought about how I had a conversation with my mother-in-law. She was just sharing with me how she wants to do more in ministry. And it was interesting because most people who go into retirement, they try to sit down. And they try to say, God, I don't have nothing else. No, y'all do that. No, you know, it's interesting how when you have children, grandchildren, you want to work, you try to do all these things and ministry. And something lasts because why are you trying to do all these things? But now you, God, is like, you got all this free time, whether you used to read books or write or preach or teach or whatever. Oh, no, I need to sit down. But she told me, she was like, you know, I want to do more things. I can I can do this uh, in the ministry. And she was just sharing a little bit more about the women's ministry at our church, you know, some things that she would like to add and do and provide. And so I thought that was so interesting because she's not trying to sit down and be done. Right. <laughs> and that's a blessing, and that's exactly what God does when your heart is being tough. And even for this ministry here, her moving forward and looking ahead and still wanting to give and to provide. We have to. Amen. We have to. Even in the smallest way and in the biggest way. You know, that's what we're here to do. God placed us on this earth to be a hand to earth for other people to be a heart for other people, to be advocates also for other people. So, with no further ado, I'm going to begin to introduce our keynote speaker. <laughs> and as Doris says, she goes, oh my God, if anybody ever get on the Cafe Manor, <laughs> we have our something in it. What's our thing called? Something in it. Empowering moment. Empowering moment. 
And every month she gives us something. Every month is something. And so we're, we're just, we're, you know, God downloads those gifts and talents. Why let them sit dormant? Right? So we're excited because we're going to be able to hear from her on today also. And we're going to turn it over to none other than Catherine Hayes, my mother-in-law, with this young, wonderful yellow. I thought she was going to put a hat on. So I was like, I won't just have a hat. to have one too. But that's okay. But we're glad to um, be a part of this and see you move forward. But we're waiting to see you. Let us all just stand, put our hands together, and just give her some love as she comes. Father 
the last month. Mm -hmm. So then through the grief and through everything, they had other things they were doing. They still pulled this off of me. And, and it was just a wonderful, beautiful thing. I just love them. Love all y'all. And it's just a special thing. And then Tammy, my sister, she back there, she, we finally got together.
writing a few things down. She was saying we have a godly sense of direction and purpose. We're critical thinkers. We're redeemed and we're blessed and so many other things. Isn't that nice to know what we have? Well, we thank everybody for being a part of this, but it's just not celebrating 40 years of the uh, Sunray uh, Ministries. Glory Sunray. Thank you. We're going to also sing happy birthday. Amen. 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 Amen.